Payday 3's closed beta has 8 weapons that we can use. Some of them are good, some of them are really good, and some of them, well, suck. So today I thought I'd do a video where I will be ranking every single weapon in the Payday 3 beta so far. I'm sure that after hearing feedback from players and content creators alike, the devs will definitely have made some changes to some of these weapons as we speak if it's buffing or nerfing certain weapons. But for now, without further ado, let's jump straight in to ranking every weapon in the Payday 3 beta. The Ziv Commando Kick Murder. This gun is straight up trash. For 100c stacks, you can buy one of two things in this beta. You could get these cool looking gloves or this weapon preset. And I wish I went for the gloves. With only 20 rounds in the magazine, a very high fire rate making you reload every 2 seconds, and with a very low damage output, this easily makes the Kick Murderer the worst weapon of choice in the beta. Sure, it has a suppressor, so if you wanted to do stealth with this, you can, but you might as well just use the Signature 40 pistol. And that's pretty much it with its preset. Hopefully, the presets we see in the full release are nowhere near as trashy as this thing. Moving on. The starting pistol for the beta is this bad boy, the Signature 40. Even though I've ranked it quite low, it's still a decent weapon. It's just nowhere near as good as some of the weapons coming after it. I mean, it certainly beats this thing. So yeah, the Signature 40 is second to last on this list, but it's still a great starting pistol. Very nice for stealth for capping guards in the head, and for loud, it's a nice secondary to switch to when your primary is out of ammo. Overall, Decent gun. The second SMG of the beta is the FIK PC9. This bad boy has a pretty decent fire rate. And even though the damage is quite low on this thing, I see this weapon having a lot of potential come the full release. Especially when we can eventually unlock the extended magazine. If it wasn't for the low ammo, I would think I would definitely rank this a lot higher. And like I said, even though the damage is quite low on this thing, the fire rate, stability and accuracy make up for it. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on this one on the full release. It has a lot of potential. Moving on to the second assault rifle you unlock. The Northwest B9 for the most part is a pretty solid rifle. It has a decent amount of damage and around the board as you can see from the stats is pretty good. However, me personally, stats aside, I find that the other AR in the beta feels a lot nicer to use anyways, and we'll get to that one a bit later. Overall though, this is a very solid weapon and is a great assault rifle to mowing down any SWAT in your sight. Be Give me a revolver in any game and I will go mental with it. The Castigo 44 makes a return and is a very powerful revolver. However, it certainly would be bumped up a few places if it was a one-shot headshot. At medium ranges anyway. Instead, for the most part, it's a two-shot to the head and the body as well. If it was up to me on how to balance this weapon, it would be the following. One-shot headshots to the first responders. One-shot headshots to the regular SWAT units. And then for the more heavily armoured SWAT units towards the end of the heist, that's when it should be a two-shot headshot. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. However, this is still a solid sidearm to rock. Pairing this with the next weapon on the list gives you a nice little sniper destroyer as well. Speaking of the next weapon on the list, let's talk about it, shall we? Coming in at third place, we have the Renfield. This bad boy has the highest damage stat in the beta, and once you put it to work on some of these specials, you can see why. However, the main drawback is the firing mode being pump action, because in my opinion, this shotgun in particular feels a little bit finicky when you try and cock it after firing. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. However, this does make me excited to see how the fully auto and semi-auto shotguns are going to play out in the full game. I mean, we have been teased with a sawn off shotgun in the trailers, so I guarantee we'll be seeing a lot more semi-auto shotguns in the future. Other than that one gripe with the pump action function, this thing will decimate everything and anything standing in your way. Grabbing the silver medal is the Car 4. This is the starting weapon in the beta and it certainly packs a punch. Just edging out over the Northwest B9, it has a higher damage output, but most importantly it feels really nice to use and was a great first impression to the gunplay in Payday 3. Whack an optic on this bad boy and not only can you eliminate snipers with ease, but you can also chew your way through waves and waves of SWAT. Honestly, I don't have many complaints about this rifle and it would certainly be my favourite in the beta, 
if it wasn't for the final weapon on this list. But before we touch upon that, quick honourable mention to the overkill weapon, which is kinda underwhelming. Sure, if you run explosive skills like overcooked, it makes nades more effective, but honestly, with the fact that you can't holster it and you can only pick it up and drop it, plus it's painfully long reload time, makes this weapon feel underwhelming to use. I hope that the other overkill weapons like the thermal sniper that we've been teasing in the trailers, packs more of a punch than this thing. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the best weapon of the Payday 3 beta. The best gun in the beta, without a doubt, is the SAA144. Everybody and their goldfish has been talking about this one. And for good reason. If you have good aim and love one tapping cops left, right, and center, then look no further than this baby right here. Not only is it good against waves of infantry, but it also handles specials with ease. Tasers, no problem. Cloakers, get them out of here. Snipers, I am the sniper. And you can single handedly take out a bulldozer with two magazines, which considering how tanky bulldozers are now, this is really good. So if you have a whole team wailing on him when he spawns, if you're all carrying this thing, say goodnight to the dozer. Even though this weapon is clearly the best weapon we've seen so far, I don't want this thing getting nerfed. It's a weapon that rewards good aim, and is the reason why I want the revolver buffed. Because having good aim in this game is essential to surviving on very hard and overkill. And it feels so damn rewarding when you can consistently hit shots with this weapon right here. And on that note, ladies and gents, is where the video is going to end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you found this video helpful. Have you managed to play the closed beta of Payday 3? If so, which one of these weapons was your favourite? On the flip side, for those who unfortunately weren't able to get access to the beta, what weapons are you excited to see potentially return in Payday 3? Let me know in the comments below, and let's get the discussion underway. I've been Lord Gaiji, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, heisters.